Good morning, everyone. We are continuing here in the words of the Pele Yoetz. We finished yesterday the chapter on Purim. We have a few days before we're going to begin a chapter on Pesach. So let's learn about Nais, about miracles, since that Purim, the entire day, is celebrating the miracles that HaKadosh Baruch Hu made for Klal Yisrael. The entire reading of the Megillah, as we pointed out, is the Pesumi Nisa, is to publicize the miracles that Hashem makes on behalf of His nation. And the Peleyoyitz writes like this, He says, Our sages have instructed us, A person should not re- rely upon a miracle. Because maybe our Kodesh Baruch is not going to make the miracle for him. You have to do your hishtadis, you have to make your efforts, you have to do things that are within the realm of possibility. Don't expect that our Kodesh Baruch is going to make a miracle for you. And if HaKadosh Baruch Hu does make a miracle for that person, HaKadosh Baruch Hu removes your merits. It's like if a person needs a miracle that's going to happen, Hashem dips into their bank account and takes away all the money. It costs money. For Hashem to make a miracle for a person, it costs them. What does it cost them? It costs them schuyosav. It costs them the merits that they've been accruing all of the years. Taira, mitzvahs, chesed, midahs, conquering Yetzirah, tzaka, all the things that a person does. When a person receives a miraculous response from HaKadosh Baruch Hu, it's menakin, it ends up removing some of those merits. Isn't isn't it enough, says the Pelayayitz, all the miracles that HaKadosh Baruch Hu does for us, the mercy that He has on us, the kindness that He does for us, all of the time, every single moment. We're like one lone lamb, one little sheep, that's among 70, or amongst many, Zeibim, many wolves. Velule Hashem Shayelano. And if it wouldn't be for the fact that HaKadosh Baruch is with us, as a Chaim Balaunu, we would get swallowed up by the world around us. There are 70 Arab nations that are living right around in the vicinity of Eretz Yisrael. And somehow the smallest little country, the little area, the smallest little area of land with the amount of Jews that that is tiny, and on top of that there's Arabs and there's Christians and there's Armenians, all different types that live in that little place called Eretz Yisrael. And so we're surrounded on all sides, and yet we continue to survive. And not just survive, we thrive. Yes, there are problems, and yes, there is tragedy, and yes, there is murders, and yes, Rachman al-Litzlan lo'alina, we shouldn't know that, and our brethren in Eretz Yisrael should not know that either. But the miracle of our existence, says the Pelayoyitz, isn't that enough for a person to think to themselves, what a miraculous people, what a nation we are? And the Om Rabbi Yisraeli Zichar Mervach HaSages teach us, like it says in Tehillim, that HaKadosh Baruch alone is the one who performs wonders. She'ein balaneis makir benisoy. Very often, the person that has the miracle performed to them doesn't even recognize the miracles. There are many people who go through great pains and tragedies. They get hits and they get broken and the like physically. The chaloyim royim and terrible sicknesses. The nemonim that are really severe sicknesses, and if they would end up having a miracle, and they would be saved from whatever tragedies they're going through, suddenly their mouths would be filled with praises. They would give gratitude to Hashem for His chesed. And the wonders that Hashem does to His people. So that says the Peleyoyitz as if you go through difficult times and you're suffering and then you see HaKadosh Baruch Hu bails you out, He saves you, how grateful you'll be to Hashem. Okay, so you recognize the miracles, but the more so, 
kefula umechupelas lemakim, how tremendously good we owe gratitude to Hashem lemakim alenu kishen noisen lano brios. He gives us health, hashkate tranquility, the shalva and peace. Ain shum pegara, and there's nothing bad that's going. What if you live a good life? What if you're not living where there's sickness? What if you have parnasa, where you're not running around to try to make money? What if your family, everything is gewaldic, everything is great? What if your peace and, and harmony in the house, Shalom Bayes, is magnificent? What if you have a good life? And how much more, how much more should a person be grateful to our Kodesh Baruch when they recognize all the goodness? That's not a nice. That's not a miracle. When you wake up in the morning and you can get out of bed, Healthily, that's not a miracle. When you got a good night's sleep and you weren't plagued by worries and, 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 and high blood pressure, that's not an ace. When you, the bills come up in the end of the month and you write the checks and you cover all of your bills, that's not a miracle. Everything is a miracle, says the Pelagyoids. So we have a problem as it is recognizing the miracles that our Kodesh Baruch is making for us every single day of our lives. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful Shabbos.